How's it going everyone? District of Cards here. Welcome back to another video. Today we have a year in review for you with our best pulls on the channel. Uh, finding retail and hobby wax was really difficult this year. First we could buy cards in a store and then we couldn't because people were getting in fights in parking lots and then we had to deal with the Target online ordering experience which was always a mystery. Um, hobby boxes being so expensive and then coming really down in price uh, recently so hopefully everyone's able to find something that they like a little bit easier nowadays. But it's certainly been a weird year for the hobby. Um, been really fortunate to get a couple of really great cards out of the boxes that we've been able to pick up, and I'm going to go over those uh, with you today. So we'll start off with our first one here, coming at the number 10 spot. Uh, we have a Mike Trout Red Parallel uh, from a Target box of Heritage. I think this was a Target Mega box. Um, so this is gonna come in eBay comps at around $15. Uh, nothing super special here, but Team Color Parallel. People seem to like it. Um, corners looked really good on this card. You can get those refractors as well, but uh, just a regular paper one there. And coming in at number 10. So all eBay comps here, um, I just tried to, try to take an average of a couple of most recent solds. Um, and if I couldn't find any, then, you know, just trying to do our best figuring it out. So at number nine, we have a Jude Bellingham Aqua Prism from Topps Merlin. This is from this very box right here. Uh, is a special Aqua Prism pack that you get. Not numbered, uh, but looks really cool. Jude Bellingham obviously had an awesome Euro 2020 slash you know, it happened, happened in 2021. Um, playing really well for Borussia Dortmund and people really love him. So anything with Jude Bellingham related is gonna sell really well. And that came in at around $17. Last couple of sales were hovering around the teens. So we'll comp that one out at 17 bucks. So that's our number nine. Number eight, back to baseball. We have a Heston Kierstad Auto uh, Purple, numbered 33 of 250. This came out of a blaster box that we were opening, got from Walmart. A uh, huge surprise to get it. We had you know, no idea it was coming in the box, especially from retail. You're not expecting to find an auto like this. Just hoping to get any kind of cool color when you're looking at uh, Bowman and to get a retail auto out of there was really cool. Uh, hopefully he plays well for the Orioles when he gets called up. I know he's a pretty highly ranked prospect in their system. Um, unfortunately on this one, corners are all super dinged up. They all came out super soft. This one really bad too. You can see on the top, right? Um, so that's the only downside. Might knock down the value a little bit, but I think it came out at around an even $18. So next up, we have a first of what will be a couple of Max Verstappen cards from Topps F1 2020, Topps Chrome. I, this stuff is so expensive. I thought it was expensive when I bought this hobby box here. This was the only box I opened of it and got one of these out of here. Um, this is numbered to 399, driver of the day card from Austria, the 2019 Austrian Grand Prix when he made a move on Charles Leclerc, a couple laps to go to win the race. Um, but interestingly, the comp on this one is around 20 bucks. Uh, last couple sales were like 18, 21. And if you're a Max fan, trying to get those F1 cards that is so expensive, uh, especially his base or any kind of color. Um, so this is actually a pretty reasonable option. It's definitely not one of his more popular cards. There's like cooler photos, things with helmets and stuff that probably are, are definitely are more expensive. So if you're trying to get something a little bit cheaper uh, for Max, that might be a good option to get a numbered one as well. So this is kind of our budget level pulls. Like these are all decent, but they're, you know, again, we've only just eclipsed the $20 mark with the Max here. We're gonna start really going up now. Um, so our first doubling the value here is gonna be this Juan Soto from 2021 Topps Archives. Pull this out of a blaster. This is a red foil parallel number 250, number 47 of 50. Uh, eBay comes for this one at $52. So of course doubled the price of the box that it came out of. Awesome, you're getting one numbered card per those boxes of archives, those retail boxes. And uh, that was quite a one to get. Color match parallel, obviously a Nationals fan here in the district. He's awesome, hope he resigns, um, but everyone seems to love him and the value of his cards uh, seems to be staying pretty high. So that was really cool and thought that parallel looked awesome. So coming in here at the, what are we, number five spot, uh, we have a Pipo Inzaghi autograph. This came out of this here box of Chronicles. Uh, this was the first even mini box that we opened. We opened Syria first, and this was the best card that we got out of the whole box. Unfortunately, the auto is coming just off the sticker a little bit but it is number 287 of 461. I have never seen such a random assortment of a, of a numbered card there. Um, but this is comping at around $70. A couple of recent sales that were like $72 to $68 range. So pretty nice one there. Uh, nice thick card. One of the all-time great AC Milan players, Pipo Inzaghi, coming in 
in at number five. So number four, back to baseball and our last baseball card. It is a Jose Altuve Red Ink Auto from 2020, Topps Heritage, numbered at six of 71. Awesome on-card auto. Um, people have their opinions definitely about the Astros and about him, but this is based on eBay comps only, and this came in at around uh, $75, $72 to $75, so just beating out Inzaghi. Um, awesome, awesome card. This came out of a boom box. It was actually the second ever boom box I ever opened. I don't even think I did it on the channel, um, but that definitely got me hooked on the boom box as being an awesome uh, product to get these hobby packs. I mean, getting an auto, now I know more about the, about the hobby and about the different kind of boxes you can get, pulling an auto out of Heritage, and this was Heritage High Number, I think, as well. Um, I won't say on the back, I don't think, but yeah like finding anything out of there was was totally nuts so this was such a cool card and uh again unfortunately just like the other auto with the paper ones you got the whitening on the corners i mean that corner is just absolutely destroyed um so that's the only downside but uh, otherwise a pretty cool card all right so now we're on to the podium and podium is an appropriate word for this because our top three are all f1 cards this is a product of the boxes being so expensive when we opened this one in the back here um, you, you go back and watch the video. I'm thinking, man, you know, this is so expensive. I paid $525 for this box. Yeah, uh, these boxes are now selling for $2,000 each. Uh, absolutely nuts. I don't know how anybody can afford to, to open this stuff anymore, um, but a byproduct is that everything you've pulled out of it now uh, gets way more expensive. So first we have a regular Max Verstappen base card. Uh, this was around the time like a 40-ish dollar card, um, you know, 30, 40, when it came out, um, we're now up to 85 just for this plain old, it's just a regular Topps Chrome. There's nothing special about it, um, his base card. Um, awesome, I've actually pulled two of these. I pulled, I think, one in this box, one in a loose pack. I even gave one away uh, to one of my friends. Um, it was just like, yeah, you know, okay, got another Max base, like no problem. He's both of our favorite drivers and just no idea that these, that it was gonna go that much up in value, um, which doesn't matter because you know part of the hobby is like sharing it with other people. It's not just about money. If it's about money for you, probably in it for the wrong reason. Um, but that's gonna come in number three spot, eighty-five dollars. Number two, next F one card, a Robert Schwartzman auto numbered to ninety-nine. Could not find an exact comp for this one. This is where I had to do a little bit of math. Um, there was a numbered to twenty-five orange that sold for one hundred and ninety, and then one numbered to three, a couple numbered to three ninety-nine that sold for somewhere in the seventy-five dollar range. So we'll say this is like maybe 120, 115-ish for one number to 199. Uh, he's still in F2. He's still performing really well for Prema down in F2. Uh, the hope, I think, would be that somebody, maybe Mick Schumacher, moves on from Haas in the coming years. Um, he is a Ferrari Academy driver, so maybe he gets a spot, you know, with... You would have said Alfa Romeo, but they've got their driver lineup set up for a little while. Um, you would think with Valtteri staying there and, of course, Guan Yu Zhou starting out, um, maybe we can hope for Nikita Mazepin to get the boot from, from Haas and get somebody else in there. Um, but for now, he's, he's just a prospect, you know, in baseball terms, and uh, you'd hope that maybe one day he can get to F1, and, of course, that would really spike the value of that card if he does get an F1 seat. So then I'm going to scoot the old camera back here for number one on our list. Came right out of this box right here. By far the best card we pulled this year. Max Verstappen Refractor. You can see the difference there. Uh, refractor base card. Stuck this one in the one touch immediately. At the time, it was a cool card because it paid for about half the box. And you can really see me in the reflection on this one. Uh, it was around $200 at the time. This thing now is selling between $450 and $500 were the last couple sold. Um, so we're just going to comp it at 450. Of course, it's far and away the number one here. Um, just an awesome, awesome card. Finding those base cards in in tops, uh, those low, those first you know low number zero one to twenty cards um, were just the best uh, best finds to get out of there. I love a product that didn't have a ton. I mean, they had autos, but this was really unfortunately it's so expensive. But this was the purest form of of card collecting. There's no gimmicks with pieces of anything you know it's just about the picture of the guy on the card holding the value and then getting something like this with the refractor that that was just the best so it's too bad that it's so expensive now um probably pr price prohibitive for a lot of people but uh top chrome f1 is coming back uh next year you know in a couple months now there is also going to be a paper set that's going to have race worn relic you know cards um 
yeah, probably will be staying away from that one, but you can pre-order boxes of 2021 Chrome already for like five, six hundred dollars. So we might be <laughs> might be doing that one again because uh, it worked out so well for us last time and we'll have to figure it out. So I hope you enjoyed. I uh, hope you've been enjoying all your collecting throughout 2021. Uh, if you're new to this channel, I thank you for subscribing. We've had a couple more subscribers release, uh, recently. We mainly focus on stuff that everyone will be able to find here, retail, you know, things, product reviews for stuff that you'd be able to find in your local store. But we do like to splurge every once in a while, these F1 cards and, you know, the uh, Chronicles set being an example of that. And we're going to be starting off the new year in the same way, uh, doing a, something a little more expensive. We'll be going back to the boombox, haven't uploaded that in a couple of months, but we'll be splurging a little bit on the soccer boombox that came out. The pack lineups look absolutely awesome. So look forward to that video coming up probably within the next week, just as soon as it, it uh, gets here. And looking forward to all the stuff that's coming out in 2021, or 2022, now uh, the end of 2021. So hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all have a safe and happy new year. Uh, great 2022 to you all. This has been District of Cards, and I will see you in the next video.